Yo, what's cracking, folks? In this video, I'll be demonstrating how we prep and paint baseboard. We filmed this in a newly renovated basement for your viewing pleasure. Please enjoy. All right, we're gonna prep out some baseboard here. Just gonna first do some wood putty in. This is all new quarter round. Fill in any little nail pops and Thing you see, which is mostly the new quarter around here. This will dry super quick. We'll sand it down and be ready to caulk. Got my tiny little cute hammer. Uh, now that the wood putty's dry, we're just going to sand it. I will quickly vacuum this once that's done. Sand this top ledge too. A little gross. All right, now we're going to uh, do a little caulking with some sweet Sharon Williams powerhouse caulk. You're ready, that's all coked up. Alrighty, so the trim's all prepped now and I'm just gonna do one example of using some tape and one freehand, as it were. This is inch and a half frog tape. I'll put it right up next to the quarter round. We do this a lot even if we're not worried about getting paint on the floor uh, from cutting in, but it is nice to have, even when you go to roll the walls, to have a little bit of buffer if the uh, drop cloth backs out. No polyurethane or anything, so nothing that we're worried about the tape stripping off. Make sure you work the paint in, and then on, if you are painting baseboards, your strokes should all be going this way, not up and down you want it to look like one long brush stroke. All right, so that's this one done. I'm gonna go over and just see if there's any heavier spots. This paint does have good open time, but I just want it to look like one long uh, horizontal brush stroke. All right, so this will be the same thing. It's just you gotta be a little more careful on the uh, quarter round. And what you can do is let gravity be your friend uh, on this, where if you look at where I'm leaving the paint off uh, with those bottom bristles, is that you can leave it a little bit off at the very bottom here. And as the paint dries, it will sag down a little bit um, as it's leveling out and will cover that little gap uh, we'll also be doing two coats, so a lot of times I like doing the quarter round and then the top and then I'll come back and kind of fill in the middle part as I'm scooting along here. So that is coat number one, finishing up right now. And we did end up doing a second coat on everything that we filmed for this video uh, when we came in to paint the uh, rest of the room. Uh, coat number two looks exactly like coat number one. Just do it again. Uh, so until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace.